Greetings, fellow humans. Bad Mark here with another transmission from Mech Tech Keyboards. And today it's just a real quick one. Um, Preston from Preston Thought and I have been discussing for a while uh, doing the same mod, the same keyboard model. So a little while back when he told me he was getting the GMK67 to review, I was like, hey, I've got a GMK67 I've yet to mod. Why don't we each do our own mod video and you know, do it in conjunction? We've talked about some other ideas that would take some more time, but um, we decided, let's go ahead and start with this one. Uh, this is a couple of weeks back. Unfortunately, I have been ill <laughs> for uh, a good portion of the last two weeks. I'm just now starting to feel normal again. Uh, so Preston beat me to the punch. We were going to try to do it at the same time, but he had to release it, and that's fine. I think he released it a uh, uh, day before yesterday. So um, I picked myself up and went ahead and decided to do my my GMK mod video. So for this mod, I went ahead and took a GMK67. I opened her up. Now, a good little trick uh, to open this case up, because a lot of people have uh, said that it's, it's a little tough. To open up the GMK67, I use a spudger. I push it straight down uh, into the crease in the back between both the top and the bottom housing. And then I fish the spudger up. That allows me to wedge it between both the top and bottom case. Then I slide it both to the left and to the right, unclipping clips going around the outside perimeter of it until all of the clips have been disengaged. It's preferable to have all the clips disengaged before pulling off the top frame, as if any of them are engaged, you run the risk of actually breaking one. So after I opened it up, I decided to go ahead and disassemble the PCB plate assembly to remove the dampening pad between it. I have found as of late that removing that pad actually seems to add a little bit more deepness to the overall sound of the keyboard. Um, after removing that, I put it back together and then went ahead and did the Tempest tape mod with three layers, making sure to cut out for the JST connectors using, um, once again, my trusty spudger. If you're going to be doing keyboard modding, I seriously suggest buying spudgers. Anyway, after uh, doing that, I decided to uh, load it up with some Fecker Holy Pandas. Um, these are a fun tactile switch that are decently priced, although... I think my new tactile budget king is going to be the Princess tactile switch because it's a, it's just a great switch, especially for the price. Anyway, uh, with that, I also decided that I was going to go ahead and I guess kind of cheap because I'm using two GMKs. I decided to swap the top so that I could come up with a two tone uh, GMK 67. And that way I thought it would mix very well with the brown gradient keycap set that I have. Now the keycaps are, from XVX, their Cherry Profile. Now they do list them as double shot, but these are die sub PBTs. Uh, they're pretty good. They're about 1.5, 1.6 millimeters in thickness. So they're okay. I went ahead and assembled it all back together and did a sound test. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave you guys with the sound test of my modded GMK67. Now granted, this is my first mod on it. I do plan to do some other ones, but I'm also gonna link below to my original review video as Preston just received this one. So he did a review on a mod uh, combined into one. I've already done the review, but I'll also link to Preston's video and his sound test of his mod of GMK. And I'd love for you guys to compare the two and let me know what you guys think. Um, uh, not which one is better because I don't think it's, a, we weren't doing this as a competition. It was just more a, an example of pulling two different tones out of the same keyboard by two different people and seeing the approaches that we both take. So love to hear your feedback on, you know, mine, his, both. Um, and as always, this will be posted on Budget Keeps. So if you guys want to come over there and join in the conversation, uh, please, you're welcome to do so. Until the next transmission, keep calm and keyboard on.